We're here at the Cote de Cour Grand Tasting tonight with David Ramey, uh, winemaker and owner of Ramey Wine Cellars. And uh, David, perhaps I could ask, I could start by asking you, um, what grapes do you make wine from in California? Andrew, thanks. Uh, pleasure to be here. Um, we make really Chardonnay and Cabernet. It's pretty, it's pretty basic. Now, almost all of the Chardonnay comes from Sonoma County, which is where our winery is located in Healdsburg. Um, and that's because Sonoma County is a little closer to the ocean and so gets a little more of that morning fog and, and, and white grapes benefit from the coolness. Then we make Cabernet Sauvignon and all of our Cabernet Sauvignon comes from the Napa Valley, which is the Myakamas my, my range blocking that fog. And so it's got a, 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 a riper, deeper character over in the Napa Valley. And um, where did you learn to make wine and uh, where have you worked before you started your own winery? Well, you know, after the, after the requisite degree in American literature from UC Santa Cruz and then living in Mexico, I thought, well, what am I going to do? And I ended up four and a half years later with a Master of Science in Enology from UC Davis. Okay? Then I worked in, well, people say Chateau Petrus in Pomerol in Bordeaux in France. It's not really Chateau Petrus. It's, it's uh, Etablissement Jean-Pierre Mouex. And so I really learned to make red wine in Bordeaux. Coming back, I started as assistant winemaker to Zelma Long at Simi Winery for five years. Then I replaced Mary Edwards at Matanzas Creek Winery for five years. Back to France with uh, Mouex for another stint. Then I was the winemaker at Chalk Hill for six years. Couple of years at Dominus getting in, in Yountville in Napa Valley getting the building built. And then I switched to my friend Leslie Rudd. I helped, my last job was helping Les Rudd turn the Girard Winery in Oakville into Rudd Estate. But we've been independent. We started our own brand when I left Chalk Hill to go to Dominus, so that was 1996. And we've been independent now for, for 10 years, actually, this spring, 10 years ago in uh, 2002. And in that 10 years, um, which wine that you've made has given you the most pride? Mm, you know, the, the standard answer to that question is, is like, which of your children do you love the most? And, uh, and, and honestly, I love all kinds of wine, not only the wines that I make, but wines from Italy and wines from Greece and France and Australia and South America. So I love all kinds of wines as long as they're delicious. <laughs> and uh, what sort of new either grapes or growing areas do you have planned for the future? Are there any sort of expansions or experiments that we might see from Ramey Wine Cellars? Well, we talk about it a little bit. In fact, there is a new single vineyard Chardonnay from the Platt Vineyard, starting with the 09 vintage. And last year we actually tea-butted or converted okay. um, three acres of that Chardonnay to Pinot Noir. So we're going to dip our toe in the Pinot Noir waters just in a very gentle way. That's quite a big change because Pinot Noir is known to be a very temperamental grape. Yeah, yeah, but I think I, I, I'm looking forward to the challenge. That's great. David Ramey, thanks very much for your time today. Thank you.